It's very simple. Uh, uh, there is a process laid down by IIDA, the regulators. Uh, for starters, we need to be mandated to work on a individuals or a corporate's insurance requirement. So there is an official letter of appointment in layman's term. The moment we receive it, we would first of all work on identifying the risk. Getting the customer's acceptance of the risk that is looking straight into his eyes, getting, getting his acceptance to that. And then soliciting quotes from insurers who have their strengths in a particular line of business. I will touch upon it a little later, what I mean by strengths in a particular line of business. But then after which, we compare the codes. We ensure that all this entire process is made transparent to our clients. And then we could come across a situation where we have four players in terms of the lowest, the top four players in terms of the lowest premium coded. Once we have this, then we wet the credibility of these insurers to service and manage a particular risk. We look at the track record of these insurers. It could so happen that our uh, L2 or L3, which means the second lowest or the third lowest uh, insurer in terms of the codes submitted, have been recommended by future risk because we would believe that they bring in the right mix of quality and uh, cost. Then we present this to the client and allow the client to take a final call. But we would definitely recommend and tell the client that this particular risk of yours can be or ought to be covered by this vehicle that XYZ insurer provides. In layman's term, this is how the process goes about. Now, I was talking about the strengths of each insurer. What happens in, a, uh, in any, any country is, it is very difficult for a particular insurer to focus on all lines of general insurance or for that matter, if it is life insurance, and if, if today the pension, or the annuity products forms a part of this industry, and one of the ideas motivated uh, by, by the uh, cabinet is to open up pension, and I think that's a huge uh, you know, uh, market by itself, and the pension industry world over have been uh, uh, even larger than the life insurance industry. Uh, now, now it comes today. It, it is uh, that that, if I can say, that responsibility is being anchored by the life insurance companies in a small way. Uh, so they have these annuity products, uh, deferred annuity products. So even for a life insurance company, it's difficult for one organization. Yes, we did have LIC, but then it is easier for a organization to focus or to polarize towards a few lines of business that he feels that uh, he can uh, have a major stake in. So likewise, um, it, in general insurance, you do not have a particular insurer who having their strength in all lines of business. So there also polarization of business has happened in mature markets. So when we suggest, advise our clients, let's say a, uh, an organization with 2,000 employees or 5,000 employees, we would end up placing the risk with varied underwriters. It could be an Indian PSU organization for MediClaim. It could be a, a, a MNC 
uh, insurer for a travel policy and maybe liability policy, so on and so forth. It could be, uh, uh, you know, uh, a combination of co-insurance arrangement that we have between an MNC and an Indian insurer. So that's the expertise that we bring to the table.